He was an Edmonton sports legend, despite never having scored a goal or blocked a shot. Joey Moss first walked into the Edmonton Oilers dressing room as an attendant in 1984, thanks in part to a recommendation from his good friend, Wayne Gretzky, who happened to be dating Joey's older sister, Vicky. When Joey started working in the locker room part-time, we used to tease that he was going to be there one day and we were all going to be gone. Well, Joey's still there. Indeed, Gretzky, Messier, Coffey, and all moved on, but Joey remained true to his Alberta roots. In addition to his Oilers gig, he joined the Edmonton Football Club in 1986, dueling roles he would hold for decades. Said uh, Joey, who hands over a jersey to a, to a very lucky fan. <laughs> There's nobody like Joe, and I wouldn't have it any other way. Dude. Moss, who was born with Down syndrome, demonstrated the importance of inclusivity, becoming a mainstay on the Edmonton sports scene and in the community, including his work at Joey's Home, an assisted living home for people with developmental disabilities. And his accomplishments didn't go unrewarded. He was honored as the NHL's seventh man in 2003. There is a mural in Edmonton in his honor. In 2012, he was recognized with the Queen Elizabeth II Diamond Jubilee Medal, and in 2015, he was inducted into the Alberta Sports Hall of Fame. There's now even a push to name the Downtown Community Arena after him. The tributes flooding in from hockey royalty, Wayne Gretzky writing that he will miss his friend, but that Joey will always remain in his memories. Haley Wickenheiser recalling that Moss was a joy to be around. The Oilers and Edmonton Football Club both honoring their longtime attendant, the hockey team stating, once an oiler, always an oiler. Oh, Fans also vowing on social media to sing loudly during the next rendition of Oh Canada, one of Joey's favorite things. Would you please welcome to the ice, Joey Moss. Moss's family confirming he passed away peacefully on October 26th with his family by his side at the age of 57. In Edmonton, Courtney Terry, City News.